I wasn't gonna make this video, but I caved. Today I'm showing you what's in my bag. What am I, like a YouTuber or something? All right, you guys, so I wanted to make this video to kind of show you guys what's in my bag, obviously, but I want to show you guys a little bit of what I take on shoots, you know, some of the gigs I get, some of the basic stuff that I use every time I go out to shoot, and maybe it's something that you guys might not have and could use in the future, and it will make your life and your job easier. Some of the things aren't necessarily in my bag, but I take on shoots that I will be sh showing you as well. So yeah, let's get started. Shall we start with the freaking bag? This thing's heavy, man. I don't even know how I carry this. So this is the Low Pro Fast Pack BP 250AW2. I mean, this thing is huge, but it carries most of everything that I need on shoots. And honestly, it's been through hell and back and it's hanging in there, you know? I mean, Low Pro does a pretty good job at making bags, so. I mean, I have no complaints. You know, there's a lot of pockets. There's, you know, this front pocket, there's this bigger pocket, and then there's like the front pocket and the main compartment where everything is held so we will be getting into that right now Let me put this up here because damn it so first off i want to start with the camera body that i mainly use which is the sony a7 III that is currently filming me right now so yeah the a7 III has been super awesome to me i love that camera it is great and low light it is great for video it is great for photos it is great for everything i mean i've shot commercial work i've shot short films with it i've shot a lot of stuff with that camera and every time it never disappoints it looks awesome every single time the picture profiles everything sony a7 III do i need to say more i have a video on it when i got it if you guys want to check that out and also before i continue all the stuff i'm going to be talking about will be linked in the description they are going to be affiliate links just so you guys know but yeah sony a7 III great camera if you're in the film world content creation world you know about this camera you know what's up with it second camera i have which actually this was the first one i had the sony a6000 and i currently have the 35 millimeter sony 35 millimeter 1.8 lens on here this camera honestly you guys this is the, the first real mirrorless camera i got i bought it refurbished on amazon for like five four hundred bucks at the time this was like three years ago and this camera i have put through hell it's been around the country i believe twice on on tours with me um, it's been everywhere I've done a lot of work with it I've done a lot of professional work with it which is pretty crazy since it's the entry-level Sony Alpha um, camera they have but honestly it's great and it has a cool little little flash there in case you want to use flash but but yeah the cool thing about this camera is that like I said, it's been with me for a long time. It's been places, and as you can see, it has battle scars on it. This thing is falling apart. There's like this stuff coming apart. There's tape on it. There's all kinds of stuff, and that's one of the things I love about gear. I'm a musician, and I come from the music world. Being a guitar player, one of the things of owning a guitar is how it wears in to your playing style, to your character, to how you treat it, how you use it, how much you use it. Things start to wear in and become part of you. A guitar starts to wear in how much you play it, where you play it the most, where your arm goes. Same thing with gear. The more you use it, the way you use it, it starts to wear in and it starts to starts getting these battle scars on them that are pretty cool that really show you know that you're real about it so I mean this camera definitely has its wear and tear and its battle scars and I think it holds a special place in my heart I don't think I'll ever be able to sell this camera I still carry it around do some BTS some behind the scenes photos videos sometimes moving on sorry you guys I don't have like a cool table to set up and do like an overhead shot I'm not that baller but whatever it doesn't matter let's start with this first <sighs> The Sony 85 millimeter 1.8. This lens, what can I say? It is a beast. I just got this one for Christmas. My beautiful girlfriend uh, gifted me this lens for Christmas and I love it. It is, as they say, bokehlicious. <laughs> the bokeh on this thing is butter. It is butter. Like you, you want to blur out a background, this thing will do it for you and it will make do a really good job at it. Also, you know, for portraits, for video, everything. This lens is an all around awesome lens. It's got the custom button, you know, the autofocus, manual focus. It is a great lens. I've shot some awesome photos with it. I love shooting photos with this lens. Even more than video, I love shooting uh, photos with it. But I've done video as well, concerts, I've done portraits, I've done all kinds of stuff with this lens and it works great, I love it. Sony did a great job with this lens. 
Next up is one of my favorite lenses that I've also used and has battle scars is uh, the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4. This lens, vlogging, landscapes, even portraits for video, for anything, this lens got your back. This lens got your back. I literally did a whole tour with just this lens and created video content and photo content with just one lens. I mean, you can tell it's all scratched up. It's got stuff, water and soda and stuff poured on it and I've saved it. I mean, thank God it's durable, but this thing's been around and it's gotten some awesome images, some awesome video footage. I love it. The 16 millimeter, the 1.4, like I said, Bocalicious. It's butter. For video, you can hold this thing up for vlogging, point it at your face, you're good to go, man. If you're trying to be a vlogger like me and you're just failing at it, but at least you got a cool lens that makes you look cool. Sony, uh, Sony, Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4, my dude and my dudettes. All right, let's move on to mics. First one I wanna talk about is the Rode Wireless Go, which is what I'm wearing right now. So this is the whole wireless Rode Lav system that they released, and honestly, it works great. You're listening to it right now. I use it for all my videos like this, sit down and stuff. I've used it for vlogs. I've used it for interview shots. Literally, the short film I just finished shooting, I was using this Lav for audio. It sounds great. It's honestly a great investment if you don't have enough to invest in those expensive wireless Lav systems because they are pricey, which I do wanna buy one eventually, but this does the job for now. The other mic I want to talk about is the Deity V Mic D3. I made a whole video on this mic. Deity was kind enough to send me one of these. Uh, I won like this whole like raffle thing they sent me and they were like, hey, if we send you this, can you make a you know video talking about what you like about it and all that? You, I will link the video. You can watch it there, but this is a great mic as well. You put it on your camera, vlogging style shotgun mic. It's great for a lot of uses. I use it as well since when I'm not using the lav mic, I can just put this, throw this on my camera and get some great audio and it sounds great better than in-camera audio oh make sure you turn it off because it will turn on and then your batteries will be dead when you need it that's happened to me before i was going to use it and it was dead so deity maybe that's something you can change oh i also want to talk about the case since we're on the subject of mic the little case i bought this little case on amazon for my wireless go system and honestly this thing's been a lifesaver i am a little unorganized i'm not the best at keeping my sheet together so this things like this little cases like this help me make my job easier and my life easier and keep everything in one place close it up zip it up put it in your bag and you're good to go that's it you know you don't lose anything all right next thing i want to talk about is something that i have been loving for the last like three months four months i've had it i don't remember how long but I'm using it right now. Uh, it's my Feel World F6 Plus field monitor. This thing, I'm telling you guys, I don't even know how I was shooting without a monitor before. It's definitely a game changer to shoot with a monitor. I'm telling you right now, especially if you're shooting with picture profile, it helps you expose your image so much better. It looks so much better, especially when you're using picture profile. I don't know how I was in it before. In the little screen and you're like exposing, you're trying to check what's on the screen and the zebras and all that. And you're just like, what the hell? When you get that monitor on you're like Pfft. and you feel pro and you look pro and people are like oh that's a cool monitor looks good and you're like Pfft. yeah i guess i know what i'm doing not really but you know i mean it makes you look pro and honestly it changes the game for your filming it helps so much on focusing exposing your frame you know false color if you guys have ever gotten into using false color i use it all the time now to expose for skin tones it is great this thing is a great investment and it's not even that expensive get yourself one if you're looking for a field monitor that's budget friendly and here i got another mess these are my cheap ass uh nd filters they came with the sony 16 millimeter 1.4 when i got that uh it was one of those amazon bundle deals and i got these i mean they're cheap they're not the greatest but honestly they get the work done i mean hey that kind of look kind of look like condoms like filmmaker condoms i mean those are pretty big but uh but they're cheap but they get the job done when i need to like really i want to keep my shutter my shutter speed down i throw one of these nd filters on and they are good to go doesn't always have to be the most expensive filters even, even though i would like that peter mckinnon filter that would be sick peter if you're watching hook your boy up next thing i have is this great card literally amazon buy it for like five bucks this will change your life for exposing and for getting your white balance. Such a cheap little piece of material that helps you so much on your filmmaking. It's literally, you know, just does this, roll it back up, 
This will help you nail your white balance and your exposure sometimes. When you're done with it, put it back in this little bag, zip this up, and you're good to go. Next thing I have in here is my headlamp. This thing has gotten me out of a lot of messes. You know, sometimes filming music videos or whatever it is, you're out late at night and you need to get through the woods because you're shooting like some witch scene and you got a headlamp that will help you get through the woods and not get lost. Not literally, I've used this for uh, music video shoots because music video shoots are one of those things where location is everything and we were shooting in the, in the woods in San Diego one time and this thing kind of saved us. It's bright. We were walking through these bushes and all that just to be able to see where we're going. Get to the location and shoot and then get the hell out of there before the Blair Witch comes and kills us. Um, but yeah, headlamp is always good to have just in case you're out shooting late. And extra cables. Honestly, I got, you know, these cables in the bag. I got USB-C. I got a whole port -a play bag. Um, port -a play was nice enough to send me a bag to organize my cables, even though I'm not very organized. But I just throw everything in there, close it up, zip it up, throw in my bag, and you're good to go. I got cables for my computer, USB cables, HDMI cables, just all kinds of cables in there. Port -a play was cool enough to send me some of that stuff. They also sent me another one for, uh, I don't know if it's necessarily for batteries, but I got the idea from my friend Jesse, he has one of these, and he put his batteries in there, so I kind of mounted my batteries in there. And this thing works great as a battery holder. You can put different batteries in here. You got your main batteries, monitor, camera, all that. And you just do one of these things, my jeans right here. Throw on your bag and you're good to go. Another thing that I've been carrying with me lately that I have been in love with is the Zhiyun, Zhiyun, nobody knows how to say that. Just Zhiyun, Zhiyun, whatever. The Zhiyun Weeble S. This thing is a beast. Literally the day that I bought this and I received it in the mail because I bought it on Amazon, my Crane V2 literally just died on me. Smoke started coming out of it. It was crazy. Watch, I'm gonna see if it does again. I'm gonna try to turn it on. This mortar smokes. It's and turn it on. Look at that. Oh my god, that stuff smells. I was like, what the hell? It's like it heard me buy a new crane. And it was just like, oh, you bought a new gun, you bought a new crane. I'm gonna die now. Good thing I had this. I was just wasn't comfortable enough yet to use it. But now I am. I've been using it on shoots, and this thing is a beast. I think I'm gonna make a whole video on this and talk about it because I really like it. I always get so like freaked out sometimes carrying these these freaking gimbals because they look like guns, and you can be walking down the street like this. And people freak out. <laughs> I mean, I guess don't hold your gimbal that way, but even like this, it looks like from far away in the dark, it looks like you're carrying a gun. Put your liquor like this. I'm ready to shoot, guys. Yeah, that's, that's kind of sketchy. Be careful with that. Another thing that I carry that's essential in my bag is this. My shirt in ear headphones. Like I said, I'm a musician. I come from the music background and I've had these for the longest time for performing, but I use them as well for audio uh, monitoring on shoots, connect it to the camera, put them on, they isolate all the sound around you and you can listen in really closely to what you're recording. So those are great. I got a laptop charger, you guys know what that looks like. One of these guys, you guys know what these are, everybody that films should have one. Next thing I wanna move on to that I carry everywhere as well is this Samsung T5. I've also talked about this in the past um, on my channel. It is a great SSD drive. If you're making films, you're creating content, photos, whatever, you need to have one of these. It will change your life. Trust me, it will change your life. Yeah, but yeah, I think that's it for what I carry in my bag to gigs and shoots and all that. It's the basic essentials that I use every day to make content, finish client work, shoot short films, whatever it is. I have a variety of lenses and gear to help me get the job done. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter how expensive your gear is, what kind of camera you have or lens. As long as you're able to tell the story, as long as you're able to keep the client happy, as long as you're able to make the content that they need, that you want, and that you need. Doesn't matter if you're doing it with a cell phone. That's all that matters is that you can create. All these videos, the what's in my bag and all that, I know we all kind of flex on each other and on people that might have this gear, but it's not about flexing, you know? It's more about showing you guys when, what I use on a daily basis that maybe you might not have and could help you do your job better as well. So so thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys have any questions on anything or any questions at all, let me know in the comments down below and I'll get back to you guys. I, I reply to all the comments. I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Keep it Gucci.